All right, so now we're at this weird split phase intersection that run, this used to have a through arrow, but now it's just a left turn signal, but it's only one through signal. Um, and there's a weird overlap to across the street. So actually I'm filming with Mitchell. Haven't seen him in like four years, but he's gonna press the button for me to see how this uh, phasing works here. So we have this direction and then there's a protected, uh, well, when this car's coming, the other direction's protected and then there's a right turn overlap that kind of is on the, I think it's on the same load switch as the through, as the, well, the left turn signal, I guess. So let's see what happens here when it changes. Okay, so we're changing red. Okay, so we got this direction's green, but it's a, uh, so you have to press the button to get across the street. It's not fully, uh, it's not pre-timed. Red is, the red and yellow are on the through phase. And the green, red and green are on at the same time. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. So that goes, okay. <laughs> I don't know how I feel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It used to be a through arrow, but yeah, so the red and green's on at the same time with that. It's yellow, so it's gonna go this direction with the walk sign. LPI? No, no LPI. that <laughs> I don't like that oh I feel like they could have take advantage of the bimodal arrows in it or something but that would be the funniest I was just I was preparing to just if those arrows turned to amber I would have lost it oh yeah like the double like the yeah that would have been the funniest thing ever like Especially I, on, on the secondary when it's, when it's just a left arrow that would have been crazy like see I probably would have had it so it's like, yeah, green, yellow, red. Yeah. And then the other one would have been, bi, you know, green and bimodal. And then keep the straight arrow, obviously. Yellow, red. Uh, but when the green arrow comes on, I'd probably just have the red ball turn off. Like, everything would just be off. And I think that, in my opinion, I think that both signals, this is just my opinion, I think both signals should be four sections. They should be. With Absolutely. The, I think yeah. it's funny like this. But I mean, they're, they're, they're using it as a per lane setup. But it doesn't make sense to, because, like, this direction only has two right turn lanes, but then it's like, oh, well, we have three signals. Yeah. But yeah, they should both be absolutely be four sections because the through movement should be also, set up like not that. Not common to see buttons to cross both lanes. Yeah, they're, they're both space. button actuated, okay, which is, oh my goodness, really this is... It's a pole with a wire on it. Oh, okay, nope. I guess that's a solution to that. I, yeah, I could I, probably do something like that, maybe. But. I was gonna say it's, it might be newer, but I mean, there's a button over there, so. Yeah, the butt is the yeah. That's that's definitely an uh, interesting setup. Yeah, this is like a, one of the only like fully actuated intersections. Then I guess because it has the de detection, like it just rests in this direction because it's like everyone's going this way. And... This is one of the two intersections I know of in the city where you'll see a red ball and a green arrow on on the same signal. Oh, there's another one. The red never turns off. What? And it does this. It does the. 
It does the same thing Quebec does with the, the yellow ball and the arrow, when the green. Yeah. Oh, where's, show you. where's that? Okay, we gotta go see that. I'll show you. I'll All show right. you. It's funny. That is wild. Well, anyway, that's that intersection, and uh, yeah, that's a. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. That's, uh, that's that is a weird that is a weird setup. So. The light on the other button I know it is. Oh, it's latching. Nice. I know. I love these buttons. Yeah, ours don't latch. Or the, only the Polaris. Oh, they don't? Yeah, we don't have the latching module in ours. Um, these are, I think, the Novaks buttons. Metro Toronto Novaks. Oh. And they have the Metro Toronto sign you can see there. Oh. That's old. I love those. Ooh, I love, like, the, the old symbols it's all on banded on there. Just look at the symbols on the sign. I know, because it was back in the incandescent days. I think days. they might be working on an incandescent style um, hand man. Canadian style. Oh my gosh! Can they please? I know. I've been I've been telling Fortran to do it. I was like, get that going, get it going, <laughs> get it going. I've been waiting for that for so long. Yeah, I know Sean made that one for me. It was a good art project, and I might ask him to make one for me once if I if I have enough, if I save up enough money. <laughs> I don't know if he'll want to make another one. That one was a bit of a pain for him to make, uh, but okay. if I, it, you know what, maybe I'll, I'll I'll bring it next time. I uh... I, I don't I don't want to put him through pain to make. <laughs> I like him. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to. We need him on our good side, right? <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Oh yeah, so there you go, regular green. Alright, we'll be back later.